fame, recognition, money. The stuff that dreams are made of. And yet how easily that dream can turn into a nightmare. More and more celebrities have become targets for crazed stalkers. Obsessed fans who through letters, phone calls and even visits can turn a star's life into a living hell. Or worse. We all know of Monica Seller's heartache and remember the tragic murder of my sister Sam's Rebecca Schaefer. Yet here in Victoria, one of Australia's own personalities has had his life turned into a virtual prison. King James isn't having fun in the kitchen anymore. Well, it was like being in, um, in dark water, you know, with, with a shark circling you. Yes, our very own Logie Award winner, star of the box, prisoner, Skyways, judge on That's Dancing, and even the lead in Run For Your Wife, has had his whole world turned upside down since he first set foot in that studio kitchen. It was really bizarre. It started off with noodles. I kept getting noodles in the mail. Beef, um, Thai, curry, Indian, all sorts of noodles. Uh, you know, Ken's an easy target. He's, uh, he's very approachable, he's very human. Uh, people think, hey, I eat two-minute noodles too. They think they know him. And it didn't stop with noodles. Oh, cheese. No, no, all sorts of cheese. Um, tasty slices. Uh, gouda. Even grated. I kept thinking, you know, why me? And then they started leaving a strange message on my answer machine. Come and get it. Come and get it. But Peter Russell Clark denied that he was harassing James and was in fact out of the country when the next chilling incident occurred. Yeah, well, I just turned up to the studio one day and then uh, I saw this. How do you think I felt? And then bloody bottles of magic chili sauce arrived. I and mean, how sick is that? Ken, what sort of precautions are you taking? Well, what can I do? Sonny Bono got himself a bulletproof vest, but I've got more to fear from a packet of instant gravy than a gun. What would you do if you could meet this person face to face? I, I just tell them what a sad, pathetic person they are. And no matter how much anguish and pain they're putting me through, I'm just glad that I'm me and they're them. <laughs> 